Alright, what is up? Here we are, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Hopefully we can get a good connection. It is fairly early in the morning, unfortunately. I am I don't really have anything else to do. Because I'm feeling like shit right now, so like... I figured... Hey, if I'm feeling like ass, I may as well practice. Oh, actually, can I? No. Damn. They don't have... They don't have the clever shit that Blaze Blue has that lets you go into training mode. That shit would have been useful as hell right now. Because, like, I mean, I have... Fortunately, I have figured out combos uh, with characters. I haven't I actually do need to figure out better combos with Able on points. Should do that. Anyway, uh, I did actually buy the game from Gamefly. I was fortunate enough for them to have it available uh, so that you could um, purchase it just like straight from them like when you sometimes when you rent games from Gamefly you can they have an option called keep and you basically you pay a used game rate for it and so I basically got it for about 10 bucks because they give you a five dollar coupon five dollars off uh, any other store items they give you one like every three months or something like that I can't remember exactly uh, so I got it for basically 10 bucks so and I kind of, I almost regret it a little bit, because I did not look beforehand to check and see how much the DLC characters cost. The DLC characters basically cost me twice as much as buying the game did. The DLC characters were $20, and it made me think, like, how much more, I wonder how much more uh, DLC they would sell if they made it similar to, like, iTunes. Like... With iTunes, I doubt many of you are not familiar with it, but just in case you aren't, they basically have an option where you can buy individual songs, or you can buy the album. Individual songs are usually 99 cents or 129, just depending on what the song is. I don't know what they determine to be worth 129 and what's 99 cents, I don't know. But, and then you can generally buy the album from anywhere from like $9.99 to like $12.99 or something like that. And basically, each individual song you purchase takes off how much you spent on that to buy the album. So, like, if an album is costs you $12.99 and you purchase a song with $129, you can later go in and if you decide, hey, I really dig this song, I want to hear more of it, you can go and purchase the album for $11.70 instead of $12.99 because you've already spent $129 on that album. And I was just kind of thinking, like, you know, how smart would it be? I'm, I don't know if this is even possible. But if they made it so that you could either download the full pack for $20, or you could buy... No, you get the fuck out. Fucking red bar, are you kidding me? Not even a single bar showing you want to play? Hells to the nah. Um... So, yeah, like, how smart would it be if they just had... How many characters do they have available? Twelve, right? So let's just say you can sell an individual character for like two bucks or two fifty, or you can buy the whole package for twenty dollars. For me, that would have been amazing because I'm really only interested in Brian and Dudley. I may check out Cody and Guy later just because I like both of them. Um, I like both of their styles. Cody was actually a character that I enjoyed playing in Street Fighter in the very short amount of time I played it. But even then, that still wouldn't add up to $20, and I would be happy to buy it, and I'm sure other people would be happy to buy it, but then, like, like me, if I had not, if I had checked before I bought the, before I bought the game, how much the DLC cost to unlock the characters, and if I had seen, oh, this shit costs $20, I might not have bought the game, I might just been like, yeah, fuck it, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it for $20, that's, I'm not in, that interested, like, I'm not paying $20 to basically be able to play two characters, fuck that. So just saying, if you want to steal that idea, Capcom, go for it. Uh, apparently it's too early to play this game. Uh, fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fine. I get it. It's too early for me to be playing this game on the West Coast. Let's try Darkstalkers. And if Darkstalkers doesn't work out, then I'll just, I don't know, talk about some shit real quick. And like I said, I feel terrible. I don't have anything else to do. Like, I don't want to fucking go anywhere and die. Y'all get a little glimpse at my recently played games there. Well, recently played arcade games. You'll never get to see the games that I play on disc. Never. It's a 
secret. One complaint I do have about this game. In their trial shit, well, actually two complaints. The first one is that you can't skip any of this shit. God damn it. The second is that in their trials, like, you know how in most games, they made it so that, like, you know, they list the name of the move, but not the motion of the move. And, like, in Blaze Blue, you can actually change it so that, like, permanently, if you, I think it's if you, actually, I think it's if you press a button that you have to, like, um, a certain button. But, yeah, you can change it to show you the motion instead of the name. And in most Capcom games, if you press the select button, it will show you the, um, so, like, I'll just show you real quick. And it'll show you, like, the motions of the moves. But this one has to be an asshole and have a creepy motherfucking background. So, like this shit. Pressing back just taunts, right? Who gives a shit about a taunt? I don't want to be sitting here taunting. But instead of that, I have to go here, then go here, then I have to look at this. And if at any point in time, I mean, obviously, this isn't one that I'd have to look at. But if at any point in time during the combo, or like if I give up and come back a little bit later, I have to check it again. That is unnecessarily painful to do. Fix that shit, Iron Galaxy. Get with the program. God. Ah, uh, see, uh, everybody that's playing right now is East Coast. Yo, somebody does not like Victor. Japanese room banning character. I did not see that shit coming. A Japanese room banning characters? Fuck it, let's look at rank. Let's see if we can get a sub 100 shit. Mm -hmm. Ah, whatever. Yo, we got yellow NAT settings? This brother needs to fix his shit. But we're gonna see what a 160 connection is like. Which icon is me? I'm blue. <laughs> is this dude really just gonna... Oops, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Woo, shit, that was farther than I wanted to go. Okay, okay, so this connection's fine, so actually... Damn it, I missed. Yeah, throw another fireball. Throw another fireball! I got this shit. I don't got this shit. Oh my god, teleporting shit. I can follow that up. Oh my god, what the fuck is he going? Shit. Fucked up, I fucked up, I keep doing down for some reason. Oh god, what the hell was that? I don't even know what the fuck that was. Fuck your fireballs, son. Damn it! Whoa, what the hell? That was weird. Shit, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Stop getting goddamn time overs, man. I'm ass. I need to be better at the rushdown. I need to be better at the rushdown. 
I need to be, see, my problem is, I am not thinking like I should be with this character. I am, like, I shouldn't be jumping backwards or jumping anywhere and then dashing. I should just be dashing. Oh, so maybe that's me that has the shitty NET settings, I guess. It was green yesterday, so I don't know what the fuck changed. What various colors can I get? Purple. Oh, we're getting a Shinko. I have not played Shinko yet. Oh god, what the fuck? Damn it, I suck at combos! Fine, 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 fine! You wanna try and zone me? Fine! Damn it, I suck at life! Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Why not? Just stay on the ground. Why the fuck not? Damn it, I suck at life! Seriously, though, like, why can I not? Stay on the ground. Just stay on the ground. Why not? I need to stop using those moves. Because, like, I am absolutely positive that the only reason I'm hitting people with that unblockable is because they just don't have experience with the character. They just, oops. They just do not know that he is capable of that. And so, like, once people are actually smart, because that's pretty punishable. Like, he stays in that stance for a significant amount of time, and anybody with decent mobility will be able to basically jump that and come over to me and hit me. Like, doing it against that Dimitri player, when he's trying to zone me, that's good. Like, that'll continue to work. But I have a feeling, like, again, once I get to a player that's actually capable of recognizing <laughs> that Jetta has that move, they won't be trying to zone me in the first place. They won't be doing that shit. They'll be, leave they'll be you know, leaving me alone and whatnot. Why do I have a zero streak? Like, didn't I just win? <laughs> I'm confused. I mean, like, I haven't lost on ranked yet. Dimitri is apparently the popular dude. I mean, it doesn't—it makes sense because he is kind of like as Shoto as you can get. He has a—you know—he has a decent fireball. He has that teleporting fucking dive kick shit. God damn it. See, like, he just walked right... Oh, shit, okay, so that's a grab. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fuck, dash right into that like an idiot. Damn it to hell! I hit him first. Why is everybody else capable of that shit and I'm not? 
I wanted the grab and I didn't get the grab! Oh, now he gets a fucking grab. Fuck off. What? I'm not even mad. I ain't even mad. Why did I get hit? How did I get hit? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I didn't recognize that. I just saw him coming. I was like, fuck, block it! And I'm a retard. Ugh. See, like, that's, that is something, like, that... Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? I just want to hit start to skip this shit and make it faster. <laughs> do that too, Iron Galaxy. God damn it. But yeah, that shit... Not that I want to save the fucking replay. I don't care about the replay. But that's another thing that, like, my mobility just sucks. What is connection... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm stupid. I'm looking at that sh I lost, like, 30 points for that? Why? And I still don't understand why I lost my streak. Is this dude really about to spam Shadow Blade on me? Oops, my bad. Whoa, 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 how the hell did I get- I ain't even mad. For it. I went for it. What the fuck? The game just lagged right there. Like, it skipped on me a little bit. Why the hell would you Shadow Blade there? Stupid of me. God damn it. Why did I get hit? I was blocking high! Fuck you! I'm going to assume that was lag because I got hit by a bunch of shit that really made no sense. See, I wanted to hit start again. Why can I not skip this shit? This is irrelevant! <laughs> Make everything faster. Like, there's nothing negative about making everything faster. There is no reason to not let me skip past that shit. It's so weird, though, to be playing a game where, like, you can't cancel anything into special moves. I mean, like, when I heard chain combos, I thought, oh, okay, chain combos are, like, what's the easy thing that you're supposed that you can do, and then, like, there are going to be links all over the place. Another fucking Dimitri? Ah! Why will they not go away? Really is the kin of this game, huh? That's the big downside of this character. Dude has an absolutely no knockdown potential. Except for that. And I need to be confirming that. Shit! Really? Yeah. 
keep trying to zone me, son. Just keep trying to zone me. Oh, I, oh, I was too far away. I finally do. I don't even, like, I don't know if I was too far away or if. Man, this dude needs to block. Like, that's never comboing. Chain! Thank you for the chain. This is the one thing that I desperately need to work on in every single game I play. The reason why I liked Marvel so much and why Mar like playing Marvel and playing Tager was probably a bad thing for me is because um... Oh my god, I just got a hell of a headache. Give me a second. Because I got so used to not having to stick dash. And now, like in a game like this, where my character being able to rapidly dash around is like vital to my game plan, to having like an actual game plan and not just like hitting buttons and hoping they work. You know, having actual rushdown. It's so weird too, like having every everything is safe. Like you really can't punish anything. How did that miss? Oh my god, I was supposed to jump back and get a fucking fireball. Jesus. Oh my god, all her buttons are faster than mine. Jesus, what do I do? This is the first Felicia I've played, and it's like, seriously, what the fuck do I do? Like, this dude's just coming in and hitting buttons, and like, I can't do anything about it. Oh, fuck you, dude! My fault, my fault for being stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Block bullshit. Oops. I'm gonna hit with this shit. I don't even care. Nope, not gonna hit with it. Yeah, there's really like nothing I can do here. Like, not having a knockdown and not being able to get pressure off that knockdown is just terrible. I mean, that's the entire point of this game. God damn it, I hate this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that nonstop. That's, like, the entire point of this game is doing a chain combo. I like how, like, they made sure that her boobs were, like, perfectly rounded and, like, perfectly drawn. But her face was all kinds of fucked up there. That actually made, that actually kind of amused me. <laughs> but, yeah, like... I mean, that's the entire point of this game, is getting a knockdown and running mix-up off that knockdown. And Jetta doesn't have any damn knockdowns. There's the Dimitri again. Every other match, Dimitri. Ooh, I haven't played this stage before. Ain't even mad about that. That. 
See, that makes me mad. Why did that hit? I don't know why that hit me. That was stupid of me to do. I'll get it eventually. I just gotta keep on doing it. I just gotta keep on doing it and it fucking works eventually. I am terrible at this game. <laughs> it makes me sad. I spent all that time working on combos for Street Fighter Cross Tekken and I couldn't even get a match and then I come over here and make a goddamn fool of myself. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I have time for one more match? We have time for one more match. And then I'm gonna, I don't know, curl up in a ball and die. I don't think I want to do, I don't think I want to do over 200. I think like around 150 is my limit. Cause I mean the problem with like all games that I'm new at and I haven't played at all is like, it is difficult to tell when like a connection is spotty. You can never really know. I mean it's obvious in GGPO when a connection is terrible because it's skipping all over the goddamn place. But there are some moments like before against that Lilith player where I got hit by some shit and it was kind of like, oh, I don't really understand that one. See again, I'm back to a zero streak. You know what? I must be they must reset it when you leave this menu, I guess. Which sucks balls. So like that one time when the dude disconnected on me. Oh, our first Sasquatch. Let's see if he's as bullshit as everybody says. But yeah, that time that somebody disconnected on me. Oh God. Shit. Yo, look at that damage. Did that seriously just hit me from there? What the fuck was that? Really? This dude outmashed me? Are you serious? Dude, seriously, this dude's normals are beating me at every single turn. Son of a bitch. That sucks. Yeah, I lied. that was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, that dude's normals are better than mine in every single way. They come out faster. Every single one of his normals has similar range to my furthest reaching normal. Ah, so Sasquatch, that's fun. All right, so that's that for that video. Sorry I'm so ass, I'll try and get better.